Hello and welcome back, I'm Simone and uh, if you didn't watch the last video please go check out and um, watch the first part because this is the second part of, of the first video tutorial uh, just to show you a general overview of the of the new Autobot Lab software in the first part we, we we watched and we looked at features and general and general stuff contained into the offline that was set up in the real-time window um, and right now we are gonna look at the remaining part so those three buttons here on the left uh, let's start with the community tool buttons uh, this is something we thought for for a while well, the idea of this window is to uh, make in contact different customers or our customers but not only also other researchers in, out out there in the world that are producing materials codes um, processings and stuff like that so sometimes it's it's good to proceed starting from some someone else works and continue what, what, what is was doing adding our own um, our own uh, mathematical elaboration and stuff like that so uh, here from this page you can see that this left part is related to some open source and github content out there uh, for example we have mu edit uh, which is um, a matlab script for uh, the composition made by simona Vrillon. we have the python the composition from shirazi sayed and others uh, we, we we hope to increase this list if you if you made some uh, if you made some contents if you have some codes which is uh, available in open source if you want to share it with us we can we can we can uh, we can link your repository or your web page whatever into this uh, into this window so we can let anyone out there knows about your code um, the remaining part of this window is related to our materials, so um, our documents, uh, same document that you can find on our website, so we have our device user manual and configuration protocol and MATLABs uh, repeated for all of our devices, so you can find it for 64, for 64 Plus, uh, for the Movi, Movi Plus uh, and, and so on. We have also catalog and grids, uh, pinout and stuff like that. Um, under tutorial tabs, uh, you can find uh, uh, all our tutorials. You can click on the, on these button here to visualize uh, to visualize our 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 page. Um, same things for documents. If you click, you can you can easily download the, the documents. This is the protocol. Or if you want to access a community tool. You can just click, and uh, the the software will bring you to the to the to the GitHub or or the the, the website or whatever. The next page I want to show you is the support window page or the options is divided in two tabs. In about us, you can find a few informations, and through a couple of buttons, you can visit our website or contact us by email while in the general settings uh, you can see few paths um, these are used by the software itself in order to store your saved setups initialize the database um, stuff like that because sometimes um, our our customers doesn't have uh, admin rights to to save files into internal directory of the computer uh this is where you can change those folders so this is like um this is this must be used by advanced users in order to change those paths uh you shouldn't if you don't have any problems of this kind uh this this uh, this is not something you want to worry about in the python settings and matrop settings that you can just uh, specify a few folders that are used by the interpreter in case of python and to specify also the processing folder uh, these features is um, is uh, is used together with the custom processing tools which is, which is something we didn't show you uh, yet uh, the reason is that we want to release a, a, a video a video tutorial 
um, dedicated to this part so uh, only things to know about this is that here is where you can download the, our custom processing um, when I when I talk about custom processing I mean this button right here okay um, but as I said you before uh, we are gonna look it in a, in a future video so uh, turn on the notifications okay the last part I want to show you is the database window this is something we wanted to include in order to allow our user to uh, structurize his work um, the database have a, a tree structure so we start from the study and we can go deep into the single acquisition uh, the software itself uh, automatically fill the database with some examples that's why you can you can find some studies already in there and also some some peoples and, and sessions um, from the left side you can visualize all of your study all of your people and all of your session included um, these are just three simple buttons in order to to navigate but you can also do that by double clicking let's start from a study um, this is a study, clicking on the study, the right part show you the few details inside as you can see these are the parameter, the, sorry, the variables and the parameters that you can insert in, the, in, in your study and also the list of subjects that are included uh, you can change the, the examples if you want or you can create a new one with the right click you can add a new test video tutorial part and confirm and that's it uh, we can delete it if we want very very simple um, if, if you want to add more subjects you can use this button here you can pick the, another subject that you want for example we can pick for Andrea select okay and here you will see well we can remove and again what we inserted okay uh, now what, what how do you navigate you can simply double click on a study to see what's inside these are the two subjects inserted inside the, the, the study um, remember that these are not all of the subjects in the database but just the one related to the, the study you selected if you want to see all of your subjects you can just uh, show all of them by clicking on the on this button okay let's go back um, you can navigate into a single subject and you can see inside the subject if there are any session like in this case uh, you see there are two sessions related to the study also session have a date, location, a name and a couple of other things um, the stimuli and the anatomy um, at the moment these are very very um, descriptive there is no 3D model related but I hope that um, when a user starts to, to, to manage with the database we are going to receive some feedbacks hopefully and we are going to change uh, uh, the database management in order to add more files, more uh, parameters and what do you think it will be useful to insert in it okay at the moment you have just these three these two these two stuff other than the location and the date if we go inside you see that for each session we can have multiple acquisition uh, in session 1 we have one acquisition which is this one these are device parameters obtained by the, the file itself the files and what's the derivative the derivative is another uh, metadata metadata at the moment which you can use to include other files that contains just processed data okay um, just to show you a, a quick how to use let's insert here a new a new acquisition so for example we made an, a recording in the in the first part the example file let's suppose we want to use uh, so sorry we want to insert this example file into our session so we do it like that right click add new and so now the example file belongs to the session one of the of the Simone subject of the first study okay um, if we want we can we can organize our work in this way so we can have uh, you can do what you want uh, uh, as soon as you respect this structure and one easy way to access your data is just to um, click on the view and here 
you can open the file signals. And we are forwarded into the, the plotter window where uh, the software opened the file and we can navigate our data and signals. Uh, I think it's all for now. Feel free to, to share your thoughts, your ideas, and give us your feedback because for us it's very important to, to improve day by day. Um, uh, the next video will probably be related to our custom processing. So uh, until then, have a good day.